There's growing hype around the next generation of wireless networks, which promise speeds that are 10 to 100 times faster than our current LTE connected phones. I paid a visit to the sprawling Verizon campus in Baskin Ridge, New Jersey, where I got an exclusive look at one of the world's first field trials of the 5G network. So we're standing here by Verizon's 5G base station. Now this big clunky thing is gonna shrink down. It's gonna be much smaller when it goes to the market. It'll, it'll be on rooftops, it'll be on city lamps. The idea is this thing will broadcast 5G signals, that's internet speeds that are 300 times faster than what, than what you're getting at home. The test was little more than a base station and two receivers. The first was mounted on a van to demonstrate its ability to grab a signal on the go, while the second receiver was placed in another part of the building to show how well the coverage is indoors. In truth, there wasn't much to look at. But it's the implications for this test that are fascinating. So we're standing by Verizon's 5G phone. Well, no, not exactly a phone. It's really a van with a giant antenna on top of it. But this is supposed to be an approximation of what your phone is supposed to look like. They've taken us on tours around the block, uh, demonstrating what the 5G speeds are going to look like. Again, they're 300 to 400 times faster than what you'd get at home. And this is on the road. While the van circled around the parking lot, it picked up the signal going at 3.77 gigabits per second. That's 377 times faster than the average LTE connection on your phone and more than three and a half times faster than your fastest home broadband service. 5G could replace your home cable internet line. You could stream ultra high definition video to your phone, heck, all of your mobile devices without even a stutter. It's all great, but there are still plenty of complications. That's why most industry folks don't believe you'll actually see widespread 5G service until 2020. Verizon is hoping to beat the clock and promise some form of commercial deployment by next year.